On the eve of Selection Sunday, four Big Ten teams with big dreams of a conference crown have marched on in Minneapolis. The top seed and defending champion, Purdue Boilermakers. If it wasn't special, then it'd be easy. Let's play on the right, let's play. And Purdue just keeps on coming. Purdue advances to the semifinals of the Big Ten tournament. The Wisconsin Badgers. Crowd three in the way. Book it. And the Wisconsin Badgers advance to the semifinals of the Big Ten tournament. The Illinois fighting a lineup. Shannon, here he goes. the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's going to be a day to remember all the way down the line. So let's keep this thing rolling. Proud of you, Tommy Naga stops, pops, three ball. Bang! A ring! Whose big dream will become a reality? It's the Big Ten Tournament Semifinals on CBS. Runs through the Twin Cities, the Big Ten Tournament semifinals. First up, the five seed Wisconsin taking on the one seed defending champion Purdue Boilermakers. The bracket, Purdue beat Michigan State to advance. Wisconsin knocked off Northwestern Illinois and Nebraska. Still to come here in Minneapolis. We welcome you courtside. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Phil Raftery, Tracy Wolfson. Wonderful time of year. We know that these four teams playing today are going to be in the NCAA tournament, but the competition has still been very fierce here in many. It really has been. I mean, we get the best of the Big Ten tournament, and we get some great individual performers as well. You know, it's tournament time. I thought I'd bring out my Carolina. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, not right. <laughs> not right. Uh, contrasting styles. Wisconsin, yeah. obviously, a team that can go side to side. Counter that, they got the big guy at the other end. Dump it to him and see what decision you want to make defensively. And we'll start there, Grant, with Zach Eady, because with Purdue, it really does start with their All-American Big National Player of the Year. Yeah, Zach Eady, the most dominant player in college basketball, leads the league in, in efficiency, points in the paint, scoring margin, just does it all, and Matt Painter does a great job of finding him. Purdue will get a steady diet at Eady. Rep, how about Wisconsin and what Greg Gard is doing with this team right now, starting to play the basketball that we saw early in the season? Well, they like that swing offense, generally speaking, but A.J. Storr can break it down and make some really good decisions on the offensive end, sort of complements their game. I think the big thing for them today is to make some threes. All right, let's check out our AT&T fast analysis. You alluded to it, the talent of one A.J. Storr. A strength, he's got the agility, the power, he can step out and make some threes. The step back Jack, he is having a fall in the Big Ten right now. Coming up, we'll get an injury report from Tracy. We'll have starting lineups. We'll have opening tip of Big Ten semifinals coming up for Minneapolis. CBS Sports coverage of the Big Ten tournament is sponsored by the all-new 2024 Lincoln Nautilus Hybrid. Sonic. Mmm, Sonic. And by Allstate, reminding you that basketball season is mayhem. Welcome to CBS Sports presentation of Conference Championship Weekend presented by Allstate. Countdown to tip-off continues moments away. Send it over to Tracy Wolfson. Well, thanks, Ian. The big question coming into this game for Purdue was the health of their star guard, Braden Smith, who suffered a calf injury in yesterday's game. He had treatment over the last 24 hours. He told Matt Painter he is good to go, but certainly something to watch. Zach Eady did tweak that left ankle that he hurt against Wisconsin yesterday, but after the game, he told me he is just fine. In terms of Wisconsin, they're dealing with injuries. Their star point guard, Chucky Hepburn, he was out for yesterday's game with a lower body injury. 
injury. Tyler Wall dealing with a knee injury in and out of the lineup yesterday. Both will start, but certainly load management could be an issue today. Ian? Yeah, no doubt about it, Tracy. John Blackwell had gotten the start his first of the season. He'll return to his bench role, the talented freshman. So Hepburn back in there. Klesman had assumed the point guard duties. A.J. Store coming off a huge game. 30 points in the victory over Northwestern. Purdue, same starting five. Every game this season, one of three teams out of power conferences to have accomplished that so far. Matt Painter, the co-Big Ten Coach of the Year, along with Fred Hoiberg of Nebraska. Another masterful job with this team. Purdue's going to be a number one seed no matter what happens here in the semifinals or the final. Jeffrey Anderson, Brian Dorsey, Rob Riley, our officiating crew here at the Target Center. And we are set to go. The third meeting of the season between these two teams. First two were close. Purdue, a win 75-69 on February 4th. March the 10th, 78-70 win for the Boilermakers. Wisconsin controls the tip. We're underway. Uh, Jeffrey Anderson throw up high enough. A little bit of it right now. Bird by Purdue. A.J. Store shot it well. And so did Crowell in that victory over Northwestern. He finished with 19.7 rebounds. That wall's going to work, dribble, drive, be a bully ball kind of a player. Crowell's going to have to make some shots, and if he can make some of these, it's a difference maker. He doesn't want to go out there. Tyler Wall misses on the three-pointer. We'll keep an eye on Braden Smith. It is a calf injury, initially a knee issue that turned into a calf problem. Edie gets his first touch. They surround him. Four guys on him. <laughs> they want to stay at home, I think. You can't give up these open looks. Offensive rebound. Edie tosses it in. And the foul. So a chance at a three-point play to open things up for Zach Edie. And that's the challenge. Raft, he's down low, posting up. Shot goes up. You get a body on him, but his size, his length, and great strength and concentration right there to deliver a three-point play opportunity. So good on the offensive glass, Zach Eady. He's got those big wheels, too. I mean, you cannot move them. They got Tyler Wall on the foul. Eady shooting it at 71% of the free throw line. Gets a lot of opportunities game to game. 3 nothing lead for Purdue. Nice. Lesmet, the pull-up. Look it. He can make threes. Good off the bounce. Pretty competitive kid, too. Combo guard. Transferred from Wofford, averaging just under 10 points per game. They handle the pressure. Nice job mixing up the D's a little bit. Braden first. Smith, first team all Big Ten. He has been a high-level performer for the Boilermakers. Uh, this is, they can't let him load up. Dump it down low. Edie, body bump, kick out, Smith, bottoms. I guess he's out. I guess he's okay, huh? No, this kid's a, you're tough-minded, Bird. I don't know if you're as tough-minded as this kid. I mean, it, it's not a competition, really. <laughs> <laughs> Brayden Smith's been uh, tremendous. He's filling up the box score. The jumper is off from and, Wall. And you see that inverted defensive matchup there. Edie on Wall. Wall's got to knock down that shot to keep him honest. Absolutely. Edie sets the screen. Smith feed it. Okay. Kaufman ran. That double post up they like. Good spin, he, e. he came over the back on the push. And some words exchanged there with Crowell and Edie, and then Klesmet was in the middle of it. And it's continuing now between Edie and Crowell. A little extracurricular activity after the foul was called. Thought Crowell might have gave him a little love tap with his elbow. I think Max yep. was a little smarter than this to get involved. Pick your spot, huh? Well, great. There's the shove. Good call. No Good question call. about it. A couple little just <laughs> picking up the charge. <laughs> That's a dead ball charge. <laughs> Brought two fouls on that possession. So there was a technical called on each side with Corral and Edie getting into it. 1756 mark of this first half. Wisconsin fans reacting behind the Badger bench. Double technicals. And now Edie takes a seat with Mason Gillis, the Big Ten Sixth Man of the Year, checking in. They won this price now. A double drag up top. Chucky's got to get going, too. And this kid's got some talent. We want to take that. Off the hesitation. You do not have to tell this guy to take it. Stewart splits the double team, but couldn't finish it. Steals it away, and then loses the ball out of bounds. It was tipped by Purdue. 
He does not give up on a play. Well, store too. I mean, two guys there able to avoid that double team and still get a shot up, but so explosive coming off that career high yesterday. Great size and strength. The transfer from St. John's is averaging 16.6 .6 points per game. Klesman. Nice hands, lawyer. The strip, a strip again by Klesman. So Wisconsin gets it back as Jones coughs it off. Clock problem in that possession. And so three seconds came off the shot clock when Wisconsin had regained control and should have been a fresh shot clock at that point. You know, Klesman better get his neck checked looking up at Edie there in that confrontation. <laughs> <laughs> Worried about him and his future. So Edie getting the early breather. He had 29 points, 12 rebounds, and a victory over Michigan State, 67 to 62. Purdue only shot it at 41 percent. Bounce it. Go right inside with ball. Go up. The jumper, Hepburn. It doesn't go, and a foul underneath. Off the rebound action against Wisconsin. That's going to be number two on Tyler Wall. And give Kaufman Wren a great, you know, just job there, rebounding, blocking out Crowell. A wall on the interior there. Obviously, Big Ten basketball battling down low. Two offensive rebounding attempt fouls, one on Edie, one on Wall. So the refs are calling it close here early, guys. So Marcus Ilber checks into the game. Layup goes. Kaufman Wren, excellent position. A really good looking set there. High ball screen to roll. And Smith, just the patience, froze the D and then the fine. And an 8-2 lead for the Boilermakers. Stop and go. Store. No. And a loose change from Crowell. And the difference with Edie on the bench. <laughs> you get those game. opportunities inside. It's a different game. Everybody's smiling on the offensive end. 8-4 Purdue. Lance Jones. He can get it going. He's oh. got it from Southern Illinois. Now closing in on 2,000 career points. Her Ruber up there. He had a great game earlier in the season. The roll by Crowell and the Ready. finish with the left hand. And he got hit on the head. And and one opportunity for Stephen Crowell from Egan, Minnesota. So coming back near his hometown, trying to deliver here in the Big Ten semifinals. And a nice set there, Raph. And they empty the side. And Lawyer just a little bit late coming from the weak side. Tried to swipe at it. Call for a foul right there. But right away, as soon as Edie went to the bench, now Wisconsin getting points in the paint getting opportunities off the glass as well. Fletcher Lawyer picks up the personal. Crowell converts. Substitution here, Kamari McGee, the junior, is now in for Wisconsin. And then gives him a different look. Great speed. Plays well when he gets in there. They hurt him during the year, too, when he was injured. Ethan Morton in. The chopper is silky smooth for Lance Jones. And I'll tell you what, Purdue has been pretty efficient with Edie on the bench. That's been an area where they struggled trying to tread water with Zach out of the game. They're five of seven from the field. Hepburn gives it up. Just elevate. Crow missed it off the heel. And the rebound is cleared by Camden Heidi. But to your point, Grant, they're having fun now with Edie on the bench. They're moving the ball. And there's a little space out by Gillis. Gillis. That's a rare miss from three-point territory. 48% on the season. Number one of the Big Ten. They got a hook crowd. He can make that shot. John Blackwell in. Big time. Look at this. Just a little discard innocently in the lane. McGee able to step up and finish the deal transferred from green bay he was part of the horizon league all freshman team his dream was to play for the badgers and he's now in the box score 12 9 purdue nick bennett was his coach up at st catherine every seen that, that famous bennett family one his cousin state title with st catherine they nice stuck in by Wren. This kid's got talent. Kaufman Wren, talented post score, and he banks it in. Tough shot right there over the length of Crowell, but he's early on having his presence be known inside. Trying to ice it one way here. 14 9, Purdue in front. Ilver. It's short. Rebound is grabbed by Gillis. 37% from deep. They're bigs over the years. Can pop them. That's, That's a deep this. one. Jones way off. Rebounded by Ilver. 
Wisconsin still looking for its first three-pointer of the half. They are 0 of 4 from downtown. Hepburn the zigzag. And this pace right now favors Wisconsin. Half-court basketball, not letting Purdue get out in transition where they can be so dangerous. Blackwell can break it down off the dribble. It's blocked. The follow is there for Ilver, giving them some quality minutes. So they look spry and quicker to the ball right now. Ilver, originally from Estonia, attended high school in Hudson, Ohio, and Virginia. 14-11, Purdue. Well, Smith looks okay, though. Moving well. Off. Perfect setup. Kaufman Wren couldn't finish it, but he will shoot free throws after the timeout. Braden Smith looking spry, dealing with a calf issue. It's a three-point game, first half. CBS tomorrow, catch a new episode of the most watched show in the country starring Justin Hartley, Tracker. New tomorrow after the equalizer on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Purdue has got the advantage over Wisconsin, 14-11. Let's check out the All-State season recap for these two teams. And for Purdue, 29 wins this season, tied for the most in school history. Chance to get win number 30 here today. 26th regular season championship. That's the most in Big Ten history. We mentioned Painter, co-coach of the year. Edie, player of the year for the second straight season after getting that technical foul and the other foul. Edie's been on the bench with two. And that's why Matt Painter made the decision that he made. Painter now five Big Ten coach of the year awards. Gene Cady. The Purdue legend with seven. Recent Hall of Famer. He's got the same kind of humor as Gene. Very sick. Very. <laughs> that's, not, that's not where I thought you were going. Caustic. Caustic. Oh, caustic. Probably better. A bit better. Yeah, better word. Uh, but he is a keeper. And of course, uh, on everybody's mind is the NCAA tournament for this team as they move forward. Uh, they're a different look. I think Smith has had a terrific year. A lot of options with the double post up with Wren and Edie. Gillis is much more efficient this year, shooting the ball as well. Purdue's going to be a number one seed for the fifth time in program history, no matter what happens here or tomorrow if they make it to the final. But they do want to go back to back. There is a pride factor, and as Matt Painter has talked about, you have a chance to win a championship, you go for it. Absolutely. A little bit of a on Rand there. And the other addition, Bird, is Jones. I mean, yep. this kid, we saw him up in Wisconsin almost take over that game. He can play the point, can score. Nice addition. A new big in. Caleb first seeing some action here for Purdue. A good rebounder, particularly on that offensive glass. Kaufman Wren picked up the foul. Kick out to the outside. I like this kid. Nolan there. Winter in. Lakeville, Minnesota native. Deep one. Score. How about Book that? It for three. And just full of confidence. Great. Defense there, nothing on that possession, but to have a guy like Storr that can bail you out and bail you out from deep. Jones gives it up for Gillis. He does a nice job, Chow. A little small change. The pop in the whistle earlier to get Winter. Thought it was the Big Ten. Yeah. As you mentioned, Bird, uh, this kid can put it on the deck, but look at the range. He is playing confidently, knocking it on the big one. Big jump from his freshman year at St. John's, nearly doubling his production here at Wisconsin. Miles Colvin in the game for Purdue. Jones pull up on a fade. It's an air ball. Rebound, battled for, and a foul called as Heidi got his hands on it. And Klesmet looking around quizzically. I thought Jones, first of all, got fouled on that shot attempt. The great anticipation there for the offensive rebound. A lot of quick whistles, too. See Jones got hit on that right elbow. Obviously, Purdue great at crashing the glass. You have to box him out defensively at Wisconsin. 16 foul against Wisconsin. Klesmet picks up his first. Deflection and a steal. Tough kid. Klesmet. Wisconsin with a chance to grab the lead. A lot of guys getting minutes here and getting rest. Some because of foul problems. And Winter, a spot-up shooter, too. Winter brings that 7-1 wingspan. Another one of those kids out of Minnesota. McGee missed it from the corner. Good box out there from Gillis. So with all the changes for Purdue, it's been Braden Smith who has been 
the staple is by dealing with the injury. This is what I like Gillis to do more of. Attack settles there with a deep one. The fade nearly got the roll. Battle. Heidi got his hands on it. Bodies are falling. As Heidi got his legs taken out from under him, Kamari McGee goes down on the play. And foul on McGee. That's his first. Big Ten semifinals are getting after it early afternoon in Minnesota. Welcome back to Minnesota and Coach Zach Eady with two early fouls. How will you proceed with him down the stretch here? Yeah, just play. You know, we, we got to do a good job defending no matter if he's in the game or not. And then just take care of the basketball. They've really ramped up their pressure. They picked us up full court. Just take care of the basketball. Keep working our offense and get quality shots. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Thank you. All right, Tracy. Purdue is looking to win the outright regular season title and conference tournament in back-to-back -back years. The last Big Ten team to win the national championship. You gotta go back to 2000, Michigan State. So as the years go on, you feel from programs like Purdue that it might be their time. This team is certainly built for a March run. The question now is whether or not they actually pull it off. A lot of people think they beat one another up in this league. The physicality, referees change a little bit in the NCAA. You know that uh, from your days, right? Well, they do beat each other up. Yeah. And it's so hard to win this conference tournament. But you're right, it does feel like this could nice be time. Peter's time. Back door. How about that play? And Smith to Heidi for the deuce. I, I was there with Edie out, Grant. You've got to make some hay. Take advantage. Kepper feeding. Prowl is back in. They Nobody cutting, Bird. Form the wall and a lot of dormant on the half court. Knock around off the miss by Klesmit, and it's saved by Wisconsin. Good play there by Ilver. He's going to the rim. It doesn't matter. Storm missed it off the iron. Purdue maintains the three-point lead. The jump shot for Smith. He nails it. And Rap, that's his game right there. The pocket little elbows, jump shot, mid-range. And Smith doing a great job leading his team with Edie out. The crowd with that drop coverage couldn't help. That's five now for Braden Smith. Half-court set here for Wisconsin. Store off the dribble drive. Nice step out. denied. And Store goes down on the play. Miles Colvin was there defensively for the Boilermakers. Now this kid is quick in the lane on the offensive and quick to block it there. CBS Tuesday is FBI night with FBI, FBI International, and FBI Most Wanted. New episodes Tuesday starting at 8, 7 Central on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Bob gets eight minutes. Uh, he's a prospect. Met big three against Penn State for this club. Fletcher Lawyer back in for Purdue. Carter Gilmore in for Wisconsin. Look at the scattering board. They're not giving Crowell a look. Chucky deep. Yes. Hepburn rims in on a bomb. How about that from Omaha? Drilling it. He's got a game. Good to see him back and healthy. Lower leg injury. They found out just minutes before opening tip yesterday that he wouldn't be in there for Wisconsin, but they handled it well with Klesmith running the point. Nice job, like to get some Gillis. back. Nice little double screen to get him free. That's a good look. Mason Gillis is all around skills have been on display this year. It's redshirt senior season. Pepper on a kick. Gilmore keeps it moving. Store will fire. High arcing three. A.J. Store drains it. And when he's knocking down that three-point shot, he can't be guarded. So quick and so athletic, but showing his range here in Minneapolis. Would you suggest he likes offense? Yes. It is. He hunts his shots. Smith forced to give it up. Nobody there initially. Colvin rotates over to get it. Ten to shoot. And a sink with this lineup right now. Couple of strange faces. Smith always under control, misses on a three ball, rebounded by Crowell. Get it ahead, Klesma trying to push tempo a bit. Good floor balance here for Purdue. Wisconsin looking for the lead. And nobody at the rim either on that post up. Look at Store. Shoot it. Knocked right around. there. Off of Gilmore. Turnover. Smith, extra. Moyer hasn't had a real good look. They're closing out beautifully. The drop step first. Corner, Colvin missed it for three. 
A.J. Store takes up a lot of real estate with those long strides. Wisconsin has made its last two threes. Ready. Up and under Stephen Crow, Mr. Dependable. Plus with a nice combo guard. Draws guy, nice little catchable pocket pass. Big time finish crowd. And the first lead of the day for the Badgers, 22 to 21. Nice job stringing it out by Crow. Ball fake. Colvin pull up. Missed it. Rebounded by Hepper. On the push. On the hurry, unless you give him a good one. And a good one to him is that. AJ Storm bullseye. And, and Raph, they keep leaving him open. That's it's unbelievable. Transition. You have to find him. And you know, it's on the weak side, too. Good skip pass by Klesman. Eight nothing run for Wisconsin. They lead it 25 to 21. They've made their last three threes. Smith can't answer. Long rebound, same team. And it's retrieved by Hepper. Well, they are scrapping. They're hustling, coming up with loose balls. You can feel the energy. Greg Gard's got his guys going. Mo Ryan smiling someplace, probably Arizona. <laughs> Timeout here in Minnesota. AJ Store is filling up. You're watching Conference Championship Weekend presented by Allstate. Welcome back to Minnesota. Coach with Zach Eady on the bench with those two fouls. How have you been able to take advantage on both sides of the ball? Well, we've been able to force them into some tough shots. They've hit quite a few tough jump shots. we got to keep doing that. And then we got to clean up the mess around the rim. We've picked up some fouls on, on defensive rebounds where we haven't completed the block out. Um, and then we made a couple shots on the other end. So that, that helps make up for some errors on this end. Certainly does. Thanks a lot. Thanks. All right, Tracy, the game summary right now. Wisconsin was really struggling from three-point territory. Now they've gotten hot, and they have gotten points in the paint thanks to Edie being on the bench. Ian Eagle, Grand Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson, Zach Edie, the two fouls early. You guys both mentioned it. All right, you got to do something about it. Take advantage. Now we're seeing the Badgers starting to figure out some ways to put points on the board. And, and it took some time. You know, I think Purdue held serve for a while, but now the momentum, Wisconsin, they're doing it from the perimeter, knocking down three-point shots Purdue's transition defense has not been good and it's nice to have AJ store as well I mean competitive they look quicker the ball look like they want it more would you agree with that I agree so ED returns now for Purdue picked up the personal foul and the technical foul three points Zach ED came into this game 13 points away from passing Rick Mount as Purdue's all-time leading scorer 743 on the clock Momentum now in favor of the Badgers. We'll see if that changes with Edie's presence. By the way, Rick Mount, Jerry West like jump shot, believe it or not. I know you guys were babies. You weren't even around for crying out loud, either one of you. <laughs> Goodness. Rick had tremendous reputation as a scorer. Kick out. McGee misses on a three ball, long rebound to Lawyer. And Storr gave it up. Well, he's Mark it down. So Edie there. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, a preventive reason, huh? <laughs> Carter on, Gilmore on the floor, duck in, duck in, strong kid. Matched up against Red. Shoot that hook. Kick it. A Tough. drive, and Deuce Braden Smith getting to the cup. I love how he attacked the closeout, did not settle. Once again, created by Edie in his presence. At seven points now for Braden Smith. He's the high scorer for Purdue. 25 23, Wisconsin. Extended minutes here for McGee. Your mark can bite you with a deep one, too. Klesman lines it up, knocks it down. It's a triple. I saw him early in the year. He lost weight. He's quicker and playing with a lot of confidence. Wisconsin now 5 of 12 from downtown. It's 28-23 Badgers. On the catch on Lord, a little too... Got to step back a little bit. Not a good foul by Max. And that's number two on Max Klesman. You said it best, Rav. Lawyer unable to really get going here offensively. Give credit to Klesman and the defense of Wisconsin. But getting to the free throw line as a shooter and score oftentimes can get you going on the offensive end. Brent Guard makes the change. John Blackwell in. Klesman takes a seat. Hey, Grant likes Blackwell. He jumped out on you watching tape, right? Good athlete, confident, can shoot the basketball, nice 
A nice, talented freshman there for Wisconsin. Part of the Big Ten all-freshman team, John Blackwell. He had 18 points in the last meeting against Purdue. And he's finally healthy, struggling with his health a little bit as of late. And that throws you off. They were rocky uh, midway through the season, but they seem to be back. This is going to be a tough team come tournament time. Look at posting up here on Jones. You're looking at Edy there playing a little center field. He's he got to knock this he down. He can shoot it once in a while. Gilmore comes up short on the three. Former walk-on for the Badgers. Uh, made seven thus far this year. Edy keeps the ball moving with Smith. High screen, six minutes nice to go. Pump. Ball fake. Jones comes up short. Pull the string a little bit. They're not in a hurry. They're going to make you work on this end of the floor. Wisconsin up by three. First of two semifinals here in Minneapolis. Store fend off. Tough shot. That high archer that tickles the clouds from A.J. Storr. I, 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 I wish we had a camera on Greg Gord when he takes a tough shot. <laughs> you know, it's all anti-system, uh, but he's the reason they're a better team. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. 11 points for Storr. He leads all scores. Edie, they collapse. And getting in there is Carter Gilmore. Gilmore. You said it best, just wanting it more right there. Hustle plays, 50-50 balls. Gilmore getting on the ground. I don't like a bounce pass into a big guy. Throw it in high. He's 7-4. Gilmore gets dirty there on the ground. And that's one of the few times I've seen them do that. They generally throw it up to him, to Edie. So possession arrow to Purdue. Chucky Hepburn back in the game for Wisconsin. Little handoff. The jumper, Smith. Edie tried to guide it. And a foul called underneath. <laughs> Tonight, 8.30 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Catch the Conference USA Men's Championship game. UTEP, Western Kentucky battle it out for a chance to dance on the big stage. And guys, that last play, Zach Eady, 7'4", 300 pounds. Two guys were trying to block him out. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, still able to maneuver and secure that rebound with his size and surprisingly his agility. Oh, oh he's an athlete, played tennis. Good footwork. Hockey, there you go, Grant. Goodness, hide the wine from him at the table <laughs> with that reach. One out of two, and a foul called off the rebound action. It will be Kaufman Wren picking it up. And they love playing these two together. The double post up. Generally, people get away from that double post up. It's effective with them. He's, Edie obviously going to get a lot of attention. Rank can get that weak side rebound and his duck in ability. Ilver back in for Wisconsin. And Winter on the floor, too, now. Ilver missed it from long range. Lawyer comes away with the board. And Winter on the floor because he can stretch the D. Edie's going to have to come play, play him. Giveaway there, was it over? Yeah, foul called on the post up. <laughs> Purdue yesterday beat Michigan State. There were 46 fouls called in the game, 29 on Purdue. Are you anti official? No, no, no. I am pro statement? stats. Oh, I give okay. the numbers and I allow everybody else to you're, make decisions. You're easily offended. <laughs> <laughs> Kaufman ran a 54% shooter. Crowell will check back in, and we'll see a change here for Purdue. Ethan Morton into the game. He replaces Lance Jones. And he can guard this kid. Makes good decisions. He's a stopper. Improved rebounder, improved shooter. And here is Mason Gillis, the rugged senior from Newcastle, Indiana. 30 to 28, Wisconsin. Purdue is 7 of 10 at the free throw line. Wisconsin's 1 of 1. Hepburn, he got the defender on his hip and a foul on Morton. A good defender is noted. He's a very effective guy in that lane. Doesn't look for his offense as much as he did earlier. Well, he's very his career. Very crafty and had him on his hip there. Just baited him into fouling, knowing Morton is an aggressive defender. So Hepburn heads to the free throw line, shoots it at 72% on the season. Chucky Hepburn, Jr. from Omaha, Nebraska. Missed it on the one and one. 
Oh, I've got to give right here. Get it ahead. And Lawyer. Seldom free. A little run over. They got McGee. So Lawyer's McGee screen. contact with Lawyer. And that was away from the ball. That's number two on Kamari McGee sending Fletcher Lawyer back to the free throw line where he shoots it at 84%. And you love the effort of trying to get through that screen right there. Can't run right into him, but what it does is stops the clock and gets Purdue on the free throw line. Purdue number three in the country. They were number one in the country over the course of five weeks, not five consecutive weeks, but five different weeks this season. And they've just been consistently in the top four. One of the premier teams in the nation heading into the NCAA tournament. It looks like they'll be in Indianapolis. If they advance out of Indy, they would be in Detroit. Mm -hmm. So what are the years? logistics Help. are going to be very advantageous for Purdue. So that means you want to be in Brooklyn. No, no, no. I, I want to be wherever they tell me to be. Are you dictating where everybody's <laughs> no, going? No, I, I have no say, Bill. I don't know what you're accustomed to. 30-30. <laughs> Wisconsin Purdue Caleb first is in Carter Gilmore as well and the matchup of store against Morton here Corral on a handoff for Hepburn that same play as before on the hip he got tripped up timeout good play takes it Hepburn maintained the handle but then lost his footing at the end timeout here in Minneapolis, Wisconsin and Purdue in a good one. First half action, the first of two semifinals from the Big Ten Tournament on CBS. Allstate reminding you that basketball season is mayhem. Back here in Minneapolis, coming up tomorrow, 6 Eastern, CBS is the first place to reveal this year's bracket on the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Selection Show. Where is Bill Raftery headed? Then head over to CBS Sports Network for all of the analysis, 7 o'clock, NCAA March Madness Bracket Breakdown. CBS Sports welcomes you to the madness. What do you think I'm Vasco de Gamo? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let me go back to eighth grade history. Oh, I got the reference. <laughs> well, you've got the automatic bids, a bunch of teams that are already in, so they're waiting with bated breath to see where they get the call tomorrow. You know, I mentioned Colgate. I think that's their fourth year in a row, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, right? Amazing run. And P.J. Colispo's son is on that team, incidentally. Store knew he missed it, tried to follow it up. Jars it loose, comes away with a loose ball, slashes in, nearly gets the bucket. He is going to the line. He is... Amazing on that offensive end. A thirst to drill some points. It was incredible. He took the three-pointer, followed his shot, didn't give up on the play there. And the ball re was he was rewarded with the ball falling in his lap and then always in attack mode. Not really known for facilitating, known for scoring. <laughs> I don't think he has won a game, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It's being very, very liberal. 82% free throw shooter, AJ Store. But it's never out of control. It's very much at his speed, his pace. But, Bert, I think it's because we're accustomed to seeing a lot of players on other teams do those things. Mm -hmm. From Wisconsin, it jumps out at you. Right. Yeah. It complements their cutting, their passing, their unselfish play. And he can step up. 12 points now for Stewart. 31-30. Wisconsin. Little horns looking. Gillis dumps it down if he doesn't take that three. That's one of their favorite plays, the shape up uh, by Edie. Off the miss by Gillis. They are one of eight from three point territory. He's going to go. Stork going to work. He had to step back. Gilmore. Playing like he's wall right now. Look at inside, Brent Brayton Smith. Blackwell gets a touch. Shot on offense. It is turnover, Wisconsin. And Jeffrey with some moves here, too, with that call. Well, good player. Once in a while, over commits here. Lawyer's selling it big time. And, and Blackwell's a young player. Didn't need to do that right there. Obviously, nowhere to go. The great help side defense by Braden Smith. A freshman play right there. Blackwell been playing well, though. Were you thinking Smith was zoning up a lot? Well, he was down there yeah. battling inside with Crowell. 
Greg Gard wanted to call on Braden Smith for a similar motion than we just saw from Blackwell. And Chucky could play only. There's that elbow. Uh, he knows how to turn. Not much Crowell can do. Foul called on the inside. It's Crowell number two. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Adam, Clark, Jay, Seth. They've got first half analysis. Get us caught up on all the scores and highlights. Plus, who's in, who's out on the bubble. It's all coming up. AT&T at the half. And, Raph, you talked that last play where they missed Edie on the inside. This last one going back to him. Get him reestablished. Puts so much pressure and obviously gets the bigs of Wisconsin in foul trouble. That's two, as you know, uh, on Crowell. Edie uh, went 9 of 14 of the free throw line yesterday. You know, Bird and Grant, over the years, I've asked different coaches, what do you do different against them? They all say you have to try everything. Mm -hmm. Different doubles, different areas of the floor. Stay at home. Do, you can't do your homework early because he pinch in that lane. And because of that, he's seen everything and is comfortable against all different types of defenses that are thrown at him. And Chucky, a little upset at things, trying to take over. Well, that's what I like. This kid's got an offensive game. Playing within the system, I think they need him to step up. I'll tell you, his legs look good to me. Yeah. The snake move from Chucky Hepburn gives Wisconsin a three-point lead. Now look at Edie's there. He got he rented a house there for a while. <laughs> uh, Chucky, we mentioned his ability to do so many things. Only eight points a game, but this kid is a talented guy. A little bat on, on that little fadeaway, a little curl, and Edie's not going to come out after a wise move. And I, and I think you got to put Edie's man in screen and roll if he's going to be playing that drop coverage on defense More opportunities like that will be there for Wisconsin. No question. And the third foul called on Nolan Winter is Raph alluded to Zach Edie with an Airbnb in the paint <laughs> <laughs> You are the high rent district Second one here for Edie. I'd rather stay with relatives <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't want to have you <laughs> Two out of two for Edie. Kaufman Wren back in, and now Matt Painter will make the move. Edie to the bench, 2.31 on the clock. Nice job yo yo him. No <laughs> doubt. Some minutes and keep his legs and spirit involved. And Wisconsin's in foul trouble here. Winter with three. Wall, Klesmet, Prowl, McGee, each with two. Hepburn off the hesitation. Close doing a nice job recovering, too. Chris Hodges in the game. Sophomore for Wisconsin. Chucky good with that bounce. Hepburn forced to give it up. Hodges trying to get rid of it. Store, can he create? Yes, oh, yes he can. Wow. Big Brett. time maneuver. Bailed him out. Looked like nothing was there. No. Just found the way to the rim. Just get it to Store. Special. 14 for Store. The rest of the team has 21. Smith. Give it up, Gillis. Nice pass. Bullet feed, and then it bounces off of Horton. The fingertips out of bounds. Kaufman Wren was the intended target in the paint. How about the speed of that pass? But how about this magic, Grant? He just finds a way to put the ball in the basket. Loves playing here in this gym. Continues with his stellar play. Just the third turnover for Purdue. Wisconsin up by three. Under a minute and a half to play in this first half. He's got to go. Protection, Hepburn, nice cutter, tonight. kick, Blackwell, in and out, rebounded by Smith. Good shot, though. And a timeout called by Matt Painter. 115 on the clock. Wisconsin, the five seed against Purdue, the one seed and the number three team in the nation. It's 35-32. You know, it's a quick turnaround here at the Big Ten Tournament. you got game after game after game. That is not the normal routine for these teams. So all around the country, well, it takes a lot out of you to win your conference tournament. And then obviously you're waiting to see where you're headed after that Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. You get the extra day off. All of that's on the table. I thought you were complaining about your work. No, 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 no. No, day no, no. To day to day. no complaining. But no, you're right. It's, it's There's nothing like it. They have to win three games in a row. It's like three nights out with you, Raph. <laughs> <laughs> or just one night is overwhelming for many of us. Out of the timeout. 
Foul is called. Edie was trying to make his way towards the paint. I think Lawyer's going to go to the line, though. Saw that point. And Blackwell was on the outside, so it will be Lawyer. So Zach Eady back in there. Matt Painter making the decision. And now he's going to take him out. Yep. Just maybe offense and then out. John Blackwell picks up his second foul. Fletcher Lawyer back to the free throw line where he is a perfect five of five now. And, Bert, you were talking about the fouls for Wisconsin. The one thing they have a lot of big bodies mm -hmm. that can go in and try and counter and compete against Eady. They have six players with two or more fouls in this first half. And look, Purdue shoots a lot of free throws, 24.7 per game. That's seventh in Division One. Hepburn working around the perimeter. Purdue now 13 of 18 at the free throw line. And they make you go side to side. They work a little grab, not necessarily by Braden. So Hepburn was trying to pass it to the outside, and he got hacked by Braden Smith, number two on him. Look, oh, wow. It looked like Hepburn right there was the one that the initiated That's what he was saying. off arm there, yeah. And he's still making the motion, Braden Smith, to the officials that he hooked me first. That was a savvy play right there yeah. by Hepburn. Got away with it. It's really savvy. So Kaufman Wren will check back in, replacing Caleb first. Here it is again. Yep. And Smith looked at it, looked down at the arm to hopefully, in his eyes, draw the attention right. of the officials. Hepburn shoots it at 72%. Big Ten all defensive team this year is junior season. Nebraska High School Player of the Year out of Bellevue, state title as a junior. And so impressed by his defense, too. All defense Big Ten taking the challenge on Braden Smith. Yeah, you can see him ragging him right there. Trying to force one way. We're down to 35 seconds in this first half. Left for Purdue and Wisconsin. Nice pass. look. Wow, the kid is good. Calvin Wren pivots for two. And Wren, too, the presence the cut. Hitting little point guard with some toughness. We are tied at 36. Calvin Wren averages six points per game. He's got nine in the first half. Final possession here for Wisconsin. Hepburn directing traffic. High screen set by Hodges. I get the store at some point. Hepburn, three seconds, two seconds. Give it up. Store waits, fires. Missed it off the rim at the horn. Should have got it earlier. I agree. Yeah. Guy who can make the play, score down the stretch. Got it a little bit late, but right now, if you're Purdue, you're feeling really good. Big fella was in foul trouble. Didn't play great basketball, but all tied up here at half. So we hit the break. 36-36, Wisconsin and Purdue with a spot in the Big Ten Finals on the line. Send it over to Tracy. Well, Matt, most of your points really came from the free throw line down the stretch there. What do you need to see, though, from your offense? One for eight from the three-point mark. Yeah. You know, we've had games like this where we haven't shot well in the first half that we've responded. Uh, as long as you take good ones, we got a great percentage as a team and just take good shots. Anytime we take good shots, it normally helps us because we got a good offensive rebounding team. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, Tracy, end of the first half. We are all tied up. 36 apiece, Wisconsin and Purdue. Right now, let's send you back to our studio. Adam Zucker for AT&T at the half. Adam? All right, Ian, coming up on AT&T at the half, add another team to the field of 68. The Vermont Catamounts of the America East are dancing. We'll get you all caught up on conference tournament action after this. CBS Sports coverage of the Big Ten Tournament is sponsored by GMC. We are professional grade. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by AT&T, who believes connecting changes everything. Time right now to take a look at the Ram Trucks first half stats. Purdue, one of eight from three-point territory in that first half. Make up for it, getting to the free throw line. 13 of 18 points of the paint with Edie mostly on the bench was more or less even. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson, 
Let's not forget, Wisconsin was as high as number six in the country this year. They started 16 and four. The drop off took place, but we're seeing a very confident Badger team right now. Yeah, they're playing their best basketball at the right yeah. time of the season. And of course, AJ Store has been incredible. What a talented kid, obviously. Any spot on the floor. Plus, he searches a shot on occasion. Would you agree? I agree. But what I love about him is that he's playing under control and taking what the defense gives him. Started off shooting the three ball, as you said. The defense came out, then started attacking, getting to the rim, really doing it all in the first half for the Badgers. A.J. Store, 30 points against Northwestern, a career high. He's got 14 through one half today. Over to Tracy. I and Greg Gard certainly pleased with that first half, but as he told me, and no surprise, that I didn't like the officiating too much. I mean, so many fouls, but he felt as though some of them were really just silly fouls that his team could clean up. He reminded them of that in the locker room, but he doesn't want them to lose their physicality, and when then they get to the line, he needs them to convert. Ian? And at the top of the show, Tracy, you mentioned Chucky Hepburn, question mark, with a lower body issue. Tyler Wall has been dealing with some injuries as well. Wall, limited action in that first half. He will start this second half along with Hepburn. First half, 15 fouls against Wisconsin. And I like Hepburn's attitude on the floor, too. In the lane. Not many show Wall, unfortunately, didn't get a walk. Try to establish Wall, Smith there, working hard defensively, and a foul is called. And Thanks. I love, though, Braden Smith. I mean, he gets called for a foul there. Now his third foul, I believe, of the game. Yes. But fighting inside, not conceding to the taller t uh, crowd there. and That was a basket. That was. Yeah. And that pass errant, but Wall was there to retrieve it for Wisconsin. We're tied at 36. Pretty good offensive-minded club on the floor right now for Wisconsin. Storr, Hepburn, and Klesman. Deep one. Wow. That's an air ball for Storr. Shot that from Queens. You know where that is, by the way. Queens. New York? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say St. Paul, but I mean, <laughs> I know. Queens. Bill really thought that was deep. Well, that's his old know, neighborhood, know. you know. He was a ball boy, right? If I'm not mistaken. Who was? At the, at the tennis center there? <laughs> You're really going deep in the bio. What'd you do last night, Bill? <laughs> Miles Colvin has checked in for Purdue, and Braden Smith now on the bench with the three fouls. And a double post up. It puts a lot of pressure. Edie, double team. Wall helps. Trying to find the open man. Colvin lets it fly. Bottom. How about that replacement, too? Starting him. He can light it up a little bit. Take break now with those foul problems. Not bad. Jones to run the point. 39 36. Boilermakers. Hepburn off the penetration. He Likes keeps that, Jones yeah. to the spot and the teardrop goes. And that's what they do to take advantage of Edie to his presence. Eight points now for Chucky Hepburn. He's been very poised here in this semifinal matchup. A nice play by Wall. Started that problem, eventually a turnover. Lance Jones coughs it up. Wall came over just to give Jones an extra look at midcourt. Great, great job there by Wall. We talked about with Smith out. You know, he, Edie might be the most the MVP, but he might be the most important player he is. as the point guard. Purdue up by one, feed it, crowd buries it. Uh, are you thinking of Bobby Hurley and you? That's what it reminds you a little of, huh? I was thinking Bobby Hurley and Leitner right there. <laughs> Bobby didn't pass to me much. <laughs> Let's check the tape. <laughs> <laughs> this is one I remember vividly. 40 to 39, Wisconsin in front. Two ties, three lead changes. Largest lead either way has been six. Jones rushes up and snaps in the jumper. And he can do that. Plays with such joy and confidence out there. Well, that was under the rest, too. Wall was right there as well. Good defense. So the Boilermakers back in front. Klesmet draws two defenders. 15 to shoot. Keep the ball moving for Hepper. Uh, same kind of a play. What do you want to do if you're Edie? Wall loves to bounce. Uh, traffic Wall is heavy. Traffic is heavy. Edie gets the block. <laughs> Didn't pay the toll. Tyler Wall. That's the first block for Zach Edie here this afternoon. Ball got fumbled away there for a moment by Lawyer. He saves it. Nice recovery. 
Here's Jones. Second wave of defense. Switch back with Hepburn. Jones hangs and hits. Another tough shot right there. Great defense by Hepburn, but Jones not to be denied. He's got a little store in him, too. He can get it rolling pretty good. Impact transfer, Lance Jones averaging just over 12 points per game. Foul call on Miles Colvin of Purdue. There's a portal addition that you know something about. When you think of Southern Illinois, mm -hmm. Matt had been there. Know the kid, know the ideas, know how he would fit in. There's a comfort zone you have when you bring somebody like that in. You just never know how it's going to translate with better competition. For Jones, it's translated just fine. Jumper, Klesman, he's got it. How about that, Laurie? Just a little bit of a late close. <laughs> Did you see him talking to us? He's talking to me, either us or Laurie or somebody. <laughs> Klesman shoots it at 38% from long range. We're tied at 43. Uh, that's the old America's play. The new one, I should say. Corner. Kaufman Wren missed it. Off the heel. Klesman battling. Klesman hits the deck. Over the top. Going to be fouled by Jones. So Lance Jones giving up his body and showing some sportsmanship, helping Klesman to his feet. Klesman, as you said, go underneath, step back, great confidence, knocks it down, and chirping a little bit. I thought he was chirping at you. <laughs> but, you know, you're, you mentioned that earlier. Wall getting the Wall's got Edie involved where he screens. There's nobody to cover, and going under is painful, as it was that time. Braden Smith back in the game for Purdue. And Colvin sits for the Boilermakers. This play has caused them problems. Wall challenging Edie. Wall has to kick it out. Intelligent. Just over four minutes gone by in this second half. Nice cover by Morton here. Shot clock at six. Hepburn it, trying to make it happen. Off the shake and bake. Corner. Wall. Just not as confident with that stroke. Long rebound to Jones. Wall is yet to score. 0 of 4 from the field. Feed it. Nice play, store on a defensive end. Kaufman Wren didn't catch it cleanly, and then Wisconsin just collapsed on him. Timeout, second half action, first Big Ten semifinal. You're watching Conference Championship Weekend presented by Allstate. Welcome back, CBS Sports presentation of Conference Championship Weekend presented by Allstate. Two semifinals in the Big Ten, Wisconsin-Purdue kicks off our coverage today, 43-43. The Badgers and the Boilermakers all tied up. Purdue went 2-0 against Wisconsin this season, but both were competitive games. Zach Eady closing in on Purdue basketball history. He is now six points away from matching Rick Mount as the all-time leading scorer in Boilermakers basketball lore. Edie, two quick fouls. He spent most of the first half on the bench. Then we saw Matt Painter yo-yo him based on circumstance. Mm -hmm. They got him some minutes at least. You don't get stale sitting there. Joe Barry Carroll, huh? Pass. Great center. Out of the timeout, they get Lawyer a clean look. Rebound, Gillis. I like to get him going. Nice, look at this. Say good night. Edie, good night. The banker goes and a foul. Wow, right away, they get a good look to get Lawyer going. Our offensive rebound kick out, and it's Smith right on the money. And boy, they just no really denial either. Just easy entry. Well, off that rebound right there, it looked like crowd didn't have any force as he just sealed the ball and sealed inside there. And Edie. Starting to get going. Struggled a little bit here from the free throw line, which is uncommon for him. He is four of eight. Yeah. And Wall just picked up his third foul. Store has another gear. AJ Store cruising to the rim. And what a great setup, though, offensively. He'll give a couple of bumps going left. Kind of my day he's had. 16 for Store. He leads all scores. Wall and Winter, three apiece. Smith. Three fouls for Purdue. Dump it down low. Edie put it down low, and Wisconsin takes it away. Uh, great dig by Hepburn. Wisconsin looking to regain the lead. Hepburn wide open in the corner. They didn't see him. Hepburn using the screen from Crowell. 
They're never in a hurry unless they have to be. Nice hands. But it bounces. Ricochet. Oh, big finish. How about the give back? Solid. Well, those are the kind of plays that get you going, too. 11 points for Stephen Crowell. Eastview High School in Minnesota. No doubt where they're going every trip now. Baby Hook doesn't go for Edie. For your point, though, no force by Crowell, right? Hepburn gives it up for Crowell. Now it's Stewart. Wants to dance with a pull-up. Oh, good look, too. Easy. Other guys have to step up defensively for Purdue. I know the drop coverage is giving open looks. Smith, head fake. Look at this. Inside, too, too easy. easy. And great seal inside. Crowell couldn't do too much right there. Once again, a great find by Smith. He's got six assists already. Ten points for Edie. Braden Smith set a new single season record for assists in Purdue basketball history. Wall trying to get the fouls off his head, too. The rip move didn't work. Out of bounds. And Bert, you remember up in Wisconsin, he got the ball away from the basketball and dribbled a little more. He is really dead on delivery right here against this imposing figure. Right. And that would give you a headache playing against him. You know, I think in that situation, he should do a dribble handoff. He's not going to be able to back down Edie or score in that situation, but go dribble handoff. Somebody comes off naked for an easy jump shot. Yeah, Edie's not going to pop out there. We're tied at 47. Ilver back in for Wisconsin, the big. And so is Kamari McGee. Smith got the message uh, every time down to Edie. To the big fella. 12 points. For Zach Eady, he is on the precipice of setting the new all-time scoring record at Purdue. They retired his jersey, right? See, I told or his number, I guess you'd call it. You've had one of those. Yeah. You talking to Grant or me? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, uh, the Cuse is working on yours. The Cuse, yes. <laughs> Waiting for that donation. Oh, don't wait for the telegram. <laughs> well, I guess it won't have for a while. Yeah, I might have to <laughs> add a couple zeros. 49-47 Purdue. Well, you've had a few to wish it. You're in the hunt. Not a handoff here for Klesmit. They back off. Jumper, Ilver, no. He we doubted by Edie. He hesitated right there. Just yeah. shoot that in momentum. Should I take it or is Greg going to take me out? Screen, Edie, Smith floated up. Edie, catch, Edie, lost it. Out of bounds. That Blackwell bird with those hands in the right spot. They are so sound defensively. They just swarm when he brings the ball down right there. Great screen and roll. Throw it up high. You called it. Hands in there. Active hands causing the turnover on Edie. Wisconsin down by two. 12.34 to go in regulation. Fend off by Klesmet. The jumper doesn't go. And, and to your point earlier, too, you got to go a little deeper with the dribble on that ball screen to get Edie in that never-never land. Smith, feed it, Edie, back in, Edie, baby hook, he gets the roll, and it's not going to count. Tell you, winter playing him is going to look forward to summer. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he can make things so hard. Look at this. Do whatever you can. Be physical. It's just the brute strength and agility. He's a talent. He is. He's not a big guy. And Winter, you said it, but I mean, he's absorbing a lot there of contact. He's, he's saying to Greg, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> the fourth foul on Nolan Winter. Handed off. Smith floated up. Off the rim. Rebounded by McGee. He gives him a little pep in their step. Get plenty of time, 25 seconds to run their action. Over's not looking at all now. Store. Drive. Pretty. Missed it on the banker. Long rebound. Jones is pushing. He's not afraid to take it either early. Edie's going to set the screen for Jones. Using it. Pull up jump. Off the mark. And a rebound cleared by Ilver. Two point game. 11.35 to play in the second half. Early in the year, Storm would have just taken his guy. Now he plays within the system and breaks away at the proper time. Edie there to help on the double against Corral. Now it's Storm on the outside. 
Yeah, don't give it up. Store. Kick around the perimeter. Blackwell short. Long rebound. It's Ilver. Inside. Blackwell blows the layup. The intimidation factor. Lumen big. Up the floor in a hurry. Jones off the shake and big. Edie's got his guy right away. Edie, body bump, and it is going to be a travel. And give credit to Stephen Crowell inside, competing with Edie, causing that turnover. We got a good one here in Minneapolis. The great athletes from historically black colleges and universities will be on display at the HBCU All-Star Basketball Game Sunday, April 7th, right here on CBS. Here in Minneapolis, Purdue 49, Wisconsin 47. Winner advances to the Big Ten Tournament Final. Right now, let's check out our AT&T fast analysis. And wrapped in that first half, Edie was on the bench, foul trouble. Wisconsin took advantage, getting points in the paint as long as, as well as that three-point shooting. Second half, Edie, his length, his size, really an anchor defensively. Not much there. Points in the paint in the second half. You see the, the difference there. And... Edie's presence shown not only just on offense but defensively as well and, that, and on the offensive end his presence I mean just steps in the lane he's just a great target easy hit seven assists for Smith for that reason and now Edie will get a breather at the 1052 mark of this second half Ooh, got to catch it first and a takeaway there uh, no just let it go Lance Jones jumps on top and then AJ Stewart Gets called for the foul. Unfortunate there for AJ. Yeah, just like he didn't concentrate. Maybe it was going to go into his move before he caught the ball and it's caught up there. And another foul. Let, the subway harder. Well, let's see what they do with Edie out. <laughs> with Edie out, if Wisconsin can take advantage, particularly inside. That's five turnovers for Wisconsin, just seven for Purdue. Now more of a dribble drive and pull ups with a little shade. Nice. Comes Purdue. up short for Smith. Wisconsin with the ball down by two uh, first plays the center spot now Feed it to wall no ED see if they attack the rim nice ball fake give it up Hepburn inside and wall couldn't finish it Well, that's that kind of uh, hopefully he's okay come up give people what a beautiful set nice steal by wall steps in wall was late to join the play Hepburn against Gillis Hepburn off balance no Two plays there at the rim. Wisconsin unable to convert. Do you think they know Edie's out? Oh, the they do. <laughs> A little hop in their step right now. Wisconsin shot 57% from the field in the second half in that win over Northwestern yesterday. It's been a struggle here. 29% second half for the Badgers today. Smith. The motions for Jones to leave the area hangs and missed it shot clock violation and just textbook defense right there Contesting without fouling incredible CBS Wednesday survivor is back. It's a supersized season with the most surprising unexpected and Unorthodox cast yet don't miss a new survivor Wednesday 8 7 central on CBS streaming on Paramount Plus Wisconsin an excellent defensive team because with Edie it takes away a lot of their action and coverage he's always frequently open on the low post Braden Smith to the bench Colvin in jumper Klesman no and then Caleb first with the board and interesting Edie out and Braden Smith out right now so offensively what kind of rhythm can Purdue get into without their two main guys now Bert and I saw that this should be a turnover no deflection are saying finally they they got it right. Really interesting because Colvin thought there was no way he was allowed to touch it, but when he did, there was no whistle. Then he looked around and froze, and the two officials come together and determine backward violation. Well, you can't make assumptions right there as a player. You have to just play until you hear the whistle. Right. He might have been able to sell it. Exactly. Well, Jeffrey Ennis was on the other side, really couldn't see. Opposite official called it. Hepburn, the bounce, threads the needle, and Wall finishes. How good was that? He forced Wall to go to the rim on that play. Nice pocket pass. Chucky. First points of the day for Tyler Wall. 
We're tied at 49, 8.26 to go. Now you see Hepburn will streak in and rise up for the jam. Badgers up by two. Second half action continues from Target Center. CBS Sports coverage of the Big Ten Tournament is sponsored by Nissan, official partner of March Madness. Verbo Private Vacation Rentals. Relax, you booked a Verbo. And by Allstate, reminding you that basketball season is mayhem. Raph, you familiar with your friend here? I was a curator of the Carney Zoo. At time. I just to... <laughs> okay, well, that's we'll a save, goat. We'll that's save a goat that for Bill. later this evening. I, I had no idea that that was in your bag. Oh, but man. you go from the goat at the Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley to right on the edge of becoming the goat as the all time leading scorer currently tied with Rick Mount in Purdue history. And that's incredible. A lot of points. Rick Mount and this man right here, Zach Eddy, his legacy with scoring the National Player of the Year, Big Ten Player of the Year, and trying to add a little bit more hardware to his collection. Yeah, he's been fun to watch. Uh, nice personality. Having interviewed him a couple of times, stretched my arm out trying to get the mic <laughs> up there, but uh, managed it somehow. Well, maybe from your zoo experience, you were okay in that department. 12 points, eight rebounds for Eddy. He's back on the floor with his team now down by two. Braden Smith joins him, 8.14 to go. Pepper, an excellent defender, trying to affect Smith. Crowd trying to use a little more. Just step him up a little out of that box, Edie. Feed it, Double. Edie, diagonal. Smith, take the spot on the outside. Gillis lines it up, money, it's a three. Both guys left the ball. You gotta communicate better, a breakdown. Not normal for Wisconsin. Purdue up by one, 7.46 to go. Storm drives in, D9! And what Miles a Colvin was there! Oh, wow. What a play, the block by the big guy, and Colvin, the presence of mind, to throw it off Storm. Big time it effort. Like, it's like a double block right there. Yeah. yeah, two for the price of one. They may have been out of bounds before. Purdue will have the basketball. They've got a one-point lead. Second half action on CBS. Our game summary with Purdue in front by one. They have turned it over quite a bit in the second half. Eight of those 11 turnovers after halftime. Wisconsin taking advantage of it. But, yeah, this is a great case of Purdue going to be a number one seed. Big Ten champions not playing their best basketball, but you look up on the scoreboard, still up by one. Well, if you're trying to win a championship, whether Big Ten Conference or NCAA championship, you got to win those games when you don't play well. Great opportunity here for Purdue. Familiarity breeds contempt. Sure. That's why we don't get along. <laughs> <laughs> Good scouting report. They know one another so well, so well prepared. I don't know how you prepare for Edie, though. I mean, it's... Try everything. You do. Throw and everything throw it out. Yeah. So many things he can do well. Of course, he locks his guy. Makes people disappear, too, with that big frame. You can't see the defender. Zach ED, 12 points, 8 rebounds, 3 blocks. Purdue 52, Wisconsin 51. Lawyer on a handoff for Smith. We are under seven and a half to play. We're gonna get a lot of minutes too. Smith feed the post. I would dig a little bit. Edie against Crowell. Back in jump hook. He's got it. Attack Zach Edie, the all-time leading scorer in Purdue basketball history. He passes Rick Mount, and now he is on the mountaintop in West Lafayette. The answer by Hepburn. Chucky Hepburn nails it from the outside. It's one way to keep Edie out of it, right? Don't go too deep. 12 points for Hepburn. This is a one-point game. Any time in doubt, just throw it in there, see how they react. Ooh. Contact and oh. a discard out front as Fletcher Lawyer takes the bump. Yeah, Wall trying to blow up that screen. Here you go, Bird. 
And that was a deep hook shot right there. Good defense by Crowell on that play, but Edie, great touch. Finish there, and a lot of points there, breaking the record, fitting on a nice little jump hook from Zach Edie. Always have a big guy, don't they, over the years? <laughs> they really do. He said, right keep, keep one in the freezer. <laughs> uh, Louis Conasek used to say that. Big Will Berg is a big guy. We'll see him next year. How about this? Either hand. Missed it with a left. Oh, follows with both as he punches it down. Fifty six fifty three Purdue. There's that screen they can use with Edie. Wall now on the bench with four fouls for Wisconsin. We approach six minutes to play. Crowell, ball fake. Look at Edie zone it up. Pepper, he nearly got it to go. But that's Smith, that's four, I think. Bird. And the foul is called on Braden Smith. And Hepper is so crafty right there. He kind of baits you, gets you on his hip there on his shoulder, and was able to draw that foul. Braden Smith looks like Painter is going to have to bring him out right now. Four fouls. So Lance Jones heads to the scorer's table. Hepburn bangs in the first. Lance Jones. So it looks like Smith's going to remain in there, and it's Colvin that goes to the bench. Six minutes to play. Now he's a heady kid. Got to play smart now. Because there's not dribble drive. You don't worry about charges with Edie in the game. He's not going to get that deep. And Raph, right now, if you're Wisconsin, do you double him on the catch? I know they're great shooting here at Purdue. They're a good shooting team. Only 3 for 11 though, from the three-point line today. Oh, with a bullet. And you mentioned a bullet pass before, Bird. He was a baseball terrific pitcher when he was younger in the Little League. He does have some heat. There is always more to see on a mountain of entertainment. Catch new Champions League matches, a huge new season of Halo, blockbuster movies like Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. Now streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Ninth turnover of the half. Twelve total turnovers, and now Smith will take a seat. Premier, one of the premier point guards in the country, that kid. Looked like the lane opened up. The circle by Hepburn. And then he hit the Canadian border. <laughs> There's a plug in the nostril of A.J. Store that took a pop to the face. Eight to shoot. Ooh, wow. And a foul called as... Max Klesmet turned into the chest of Fletcher Lawyer. And it looked like Lawyer tried to anticipate correctly. They're just still moving his feet. Klesmet going away from the screen right there. And we can get you a whistle. You're right on top of that. <laughs> Klesmet still grabbing at the left side of his face. 56-55 Purdue. Come up on five minutes to play. Shot clock is down to seven. Store. Pull up is off. Rebounded by Edie. The crowd's not going to get any looks whatsoever. A little small matchup for him. Another double double for Zach Edie. 16 points, 10 rebounds, three blocks. Hepper went for the steal. The dive, jumping on it, Gilmore. That's Wisconsin basketball, really. Great effort, great anticipation. We've seen those jumping the passing lane. Pretty solid. And he gets the timeout after the lunge by Carter Gilmore. Wisconsin will have possession when we come back. Coming up next, game two of our Big Ten semifinals. Nebraska taking on Illinois, followed by another school punching their ticket to the Big Dance Mountain West Championship. New Mexico and San Diego State. That has been a fun run to watch. Welcome to March on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Ash's son down there in New Mexico. Been having a good year. Yeah. Our Big Ten tournament bracket presented by Nissan, Purdue, Wisconsin. One of these teams will emerge to the Big Ten championship game 56 55 Purdue in front and he did the opposite they had Krause screening oh they're giving it to him Gilmore got him I mentioned their ability different guys can step out and make some jumpers Gilmore one of those guys three of eight 
or nine on that one. Out of Heartland, Wisconsin, Carter Gilmore has put Wisconsin in front, 58 to 56. Nine lead changes, six ties. Lawyer has not been able to get a decent look. Banker doesn't go. Rebound gets knocked to the outside. Kick Heidi, the jumper from Gillis, and he nails it. And what a pass there by Heidi. Great awareness finding Max Gillis as he knocks it down. 59-58 Purdue. He made a couple against Wisconsin early in the year, too, Gillis. So the sixth man of the year in the Big Ten, Mason Gillis, has put Purdue in front by one. Hepburn with seven to shoot. Takes the opening. Easy throw, shoot it. Crowell lines it up. Rimming out. And rebounded by Jones. Classic check out, though. Purdue in no rush. 3.20 to go. They lead by one. A little box set. Everything to confuse, and they go inside. Lawyer with a good look. First time. Cha-ching! First time. They left him. Whew. Too good to leave Barrett. He's a 44% shooter from downtown. He gives Purdue a 62-58 advantage with 2.52 to go. And they have been flawless with him. Hepburn, good looking stroke. And that's his move right there, creating a little bit of separation right there in the mid-range. Wow, how about the offensive play here down the stretch? Set, lighten it up. 16 now for Chucky Hepburn. He averages 7.7 .7 per game. Two and a half to go. Same set. Drop it inside. Edie. They stay at home. Look how he locks. Uh, repost. Nice little set. How about that? Edie fouled. It was before the shot. Big one from Fletcher Lawyer. Purdue trying to advance to the Big Ten title game. Time right now for the Capital One rewarding performance. And who better than this guy, huh? Stepping in, he had two of these, I believe. Great anticipation defensively, just makes the right read, active hands. I mean, his play on both ends of the floor, Hepburn, has been spectacular. And to think, there was uncertainty whether he would play today. Mm -hmm. It was really unusual. I guess pre-game, he decided he was sore. And he's been an Iron Man, so it's not as if this has been an issue before. First one he's missed, right? Purdue's got a two-point lead over Wisconsin with 2.26 to go in regulation. Purdue has suffered only three losses this season. Northwestern, Nebraska, and Ohio State. 17-3 in Big Ten play. 29-3 overall. They're impressive because they, they go to an inside game. The last repeat Big Ten tournament champion, Michigan State, did it back-to-back 17 -back and 18. Purdue is trying to do the same. They have to get there first. Trying to hold off Wisconsin. And Bert, this lineup is interesting. I think good because you've got three guys that are perfect to dribble drive and shoot it. Plus Gillis. So they got people, if they double, that they can find. That repost has been tough. Edie short on the jump hook. And great job by Crowell right there, forcing him to his left. Edie insisting on going to that right-handed hook. Could not convert. So now Wisconsin with an opportunity down by two. We hit two minutes to go. Back to And the layup goes. Max Klesmith, Tyler Wall with a beautiful dime. And Smith caught ball watching. What a terrific anticipated cut. We are tied at 62. A minute 45 to play. Jones, the dribbling handoff. Eating kick. A push, I think, crowd. It is. I'll tell you, Chucky Hepburn is playing a solid game. Both ends of the floor defensively here to counter wall patient and Max Klesman been able to finish the deal, but that's that open middle when he is dragged out of there. Carte Blanche with the big fella absent. So that is 16 fouls against Wisconsin, five against Purdue. Lawyer goes long for Smith. A lot of guys that can beat you with the bounce here now. Smith. Swing it, corner, Gillis lets it fly, short. And wall, oh, 
under the undercut, and then Gillis got him. And that was a great close out there by Wall on that corner three attempt by Gillis. Sure was. Just activity on defense here, Wisconsin. And the first foul on Mason Gillis. 16 fouls against Purdue. Wisconsin can take the lead. Klesman. Corral playing with four fouls. Three guys that can take you on this side, too. Hepburn, Store. Hepburn. And stutter Klesman. step. And Klesman, too. Kick. Wall. Off the rim. Rebounded by Gillis. We're going to hit one minute to play. Purdue and Wisconsin tied at 62. And a timeout taken by Matt Painter. Coming down to the wire in Minneapolis. Winner advances to the Big Ten Tournament title game. Game reset. Locked up at 62 apiece. Wisconsin with two timeouts remaining. Purdue with one. Boilermakers half possession. 16 fouls on each side. Possession arrow to Wisconsin if we get into a tie-up situation. And Wall's 0 for 4 from 3. It's really not his game deep, but he was the open guy. Greg, I'm sure, would like a better attempt. This is a Purdue team that averages 84.2 points per game. That's 11th in the country, number one in the Big Ten. Them and Illinois, the highest scoring teams in the conference. But they've been held to 62 and find themselves in a tight one against Wisconsin in the semifinals. I think crowd's got to be really strong. Show some force. Don't let him duck in deep. Look at a wider hook shot. He has not used a counter whatsoever all game. Smith using the double screen out front. Feed it. Edie layup. Good and a foul. Smith in the area. What a find. Well, what a what a play by Painter out of the timeout. Get Edie in some screen and roll action. A double screen up high. And Smith just great awareness there. Edie concentrates. Doesn't bring the ball down. Three-point play opportunity. That's been like a fly on his arm, too, right? <laughs> Such a forceful guy. In the first half, Purdue was 13 of 18 of the free throw line. They have attempted just one free throw before this one from Eden, and he nails it. 65-62, Boilermakers. Right now for Wisconsin, you got to be patient. But I think Hepburn and Store have to be involved offensively here. Be very good in the lane, but if you get too deep, Hepburn doesn't get the roll. Rebound, foot four, wall, what a save. Stewart, what a flyby for the tie, it's off the mark. And it bounces out of bounds. Wow. Wow. What an opportunity. Look at the hustle here by Wall, not giving up. What a save and oh. a look. And how about the presence by Stewart to pump fake. Comes up empty. Klesman in that corner. Almost came up with it. Purdue with possession, up by three, 25.1 on the clock. Full court pressure now. I think you've got a short, or the length of the game, excuse me. One initial trap, maybe jump a passing lane. You always have Edie as an outlet. Yeah. There it is, good call. They yeah. got it in, and nobody back. Edie could not get it cleanly to Smith because it was deflected. Out what of bounds. Set play. Bryce Drew like almost. Yes. In the old days. But that wasn't a deflection there. Ooh, the last play is under review. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell from that angle, Raph. Yeah. Who's, who's tall enough to get that high to two deflected? It was Stephen Crowell, if anyone, that got a piece right there. The question is, did he? Because did at he the whiff? end there, it looks like uh, he whiffed. It's it Edie. It's Wisconsin's ball right there. It looked like he whiffed, didn't it? It did. So Gene Steratore is watching along with us. Gene, you just saw the replays. Obviously, the call on the floor was last touch. Wisconsin, what'd you see on the play? Yeah, I see Crow touching it, but then I see Edie pushing through with the right hand, and I think Crow's hand is off of it. Wow, Edie still has some fingertips on that one eye, and I think they're going to flip this to Wisconsin. Yeah, so you're watching the trajectory of the ball, and that's the definitive angle right there and the angle that they just showed inside the arena the wisconsin fans are reacting to it behind the badger bench so crowl right here with the left hand yeah there's a graze but the follow through from Edie. he's the last one to touch it and propel it 
play has been changed. It is Wisconsin's basketball. And now I, I still think you can go get it too. There's plenty of time left. Unless of course, to step up and a kick for an open three like Store had there at that opportunity. But again, they, they do love the ball screen and get Hepburn into the foul area. A good piece of officiating. And by the way, Smith's going to have a wide open layup. Yeah, that was he it. was by himself. No hey, question. Great call from the bench to set that baby up. But now they're going to have to put it in their back pocket because Wisconsin did enough to disrupt Edie to throw it away. 65-62 Purdue, 22.6 on the clock. And I, and I agree. You don't need a three in this situation. Get an easy two if the opportunity presents itself and set up that full court press. Purdue at last year's Big Ten Conference Tournament struggled against full court pressure. So right now they're just trying to figure out the clock situation. It ticked off to 22.6, but they should put a little bit more time on the clock here for Wisconsin. And, and, and third and, and Grant, the next time if they do on the lap, I would front Edie. Let them throw a long one, which is a big gamble on that press. If in fact they do get a deuce. So they're going to add some time. Looks like they'll move it to 23 seconds. Or they're just going to keep it at 22.6 and set the shot clock at 20. Wisconsin with possession down by three. Trigger in for Hepburn. This wall is a screener. They got Crowell here as well. Crowell out front. 10 to shoot. Looking, Hepburn comes to the ball. Seven to shoot, his team is down by three. Got to get a three now. Hepburn drives in and scores with 6.5. He cuts it to one. And that's because of the lift. I don't know where the big guy was eating. I would have zoned him up in there, right? It's too much clock. Yeah. Big Ten semifinals, Purdue 65, Wisconsin 64. Each team has a timeout remaining. 6.5 on the clock, Boilermakers with possession. And, Bert, I'm going to see if they front the big guy, Edie. And the big thing also, maybe if you don't front him, let him catch it and foul him. He's struggling at, what, four for nine, right, Grant? Well, I think, I think you can try to foul him right away. Try to get a strip, possibly a steal here. Look for the long ball by Purdue here. They get it in. Got to give it to a good foul. And there is the foul given with 6.1. That's the gamble. And that is the quota for Stephen Crowell, number five. Worth it, though, strategy-wise. Not much more they could do. And give him credit. He really fought and battled inside, really made Edie have to settle for some tough shots here tonight. And he couldn't be an offensive threat because they had the small forward on him. Gillis invariably, as well as others. So Corral finishes with 11 points. Minnesota native sister Lauren plays volleyball at the University of Minnesota. And now he'll have to watch from the bench with his team down by one. Zach Eady at the free throw line where he is five of nine. And, and here's a little bit of a dilemma. They're very small right now, Wisconsin. If there is a miss on this one and one. It is Tyler Wall, the biggest badger on the floor right now at six foot nine, 225. Eighth team foul against the Badgers. Edie. Five point lead. Stepped up big yep. time. <laughs> Little mini onions here early. 20 points. And Wisconsin still has a timeout left. So they can do something to half court if they'd like. Maybe get it up quickly, call a timeout. Or let him go. You got four perimeter speed yep. guys out there. And he makes four misses. Chucky can really push it. So can Klesman. Doesn't get the roll. Five seconds left. Wisconsin down by two. Time they got it. 2.7 on the clock. Wisconsin. The door is open. How about the coordination of Blackwell and Storr? Were they attuned to the situation? Goodness. Heads up play. And you called it. I mean, they had one timeout left. They got a small group out there to get the ball down the court and now give themselves an opportunity to either tie it or possibly win right here. 
I got to think Storr or Hepburn will have the ball in their hand at some point. Conversely, if I'm Purdue, I try and force them not to have it. Let others ignite. I maybe go small right now if you're Wisconsin. Spread yep. the floor and find the mismatch where Zach Eady's guarding. Pretty much the same lineup maybe that was on the floor. Possibly. I think Wall was out there on the floor. Yeah, that's the big, yeah. I think they're doing what you said. No, they do Number one seeds have been going down left and right in their respective conference tournaments. 17 of them have lost leading into the NCAA tournament. Uh, time out to see that scene, what they set up. They do have some three-point shooters on the floor for Wisconsin, too, because it may end up with three on a driving kick. A lot of guys like to scream opposite and throw cross-court. You've seen that in the NBA quite a bit, too. Uh, this kind of a set well with 2.7 seconds left you're going to have to pretty much catch it and shoot it maybe possibly One a dribble. dribble yeah but there can't be two passes once the ball is in bounds here so a flare of some sort some misdirection maybe a slipping a screen the problem with that is Edie's there under the rim exactly you can't go too deep no question about it if you're wisconsin are you just looking for the tie here you're looking for the win and the spot in the big 10 final i think you try and get in the lane and if the deuce is there you're going to take it but if they step up and take it away that's when the three will show and for purdue you can't assume anything you have to switch everything and it be strong and of course defensively you, could, you do not want to foul and watch the inbound passer is a problem on occasion Pass and go. Wisconsin down by two. Wall gets it in. Hepper fake drive layup is good. Overtime. How about that? The activity. Chucky played some really good basketball. And Wall so patient on that pass that the screens occur. And finally, Hepburn with a little dive off that post. And how about this finish? Edie. Goodness. Well, they took advantage of Edie yeah. being away yeah. from the rim right there. They sure did. And Hepburn, two dribbles and gets to the rim in time. Something else. Chucky Hepburn beats the buzzer. We get bonus basketball in the Twin Cities. This overtime is made possible by Buffalo Wild Wings. First semifinal here in the Big Ten, Wisconsin and Purdue are going to OT, and this is how we got here. And it's surprising, really big on the ball, no deterrent in the lane, and all of a sudden, Chucky with a good cut, curl to that baseline. Interesting stuff. You can see that little bump by Blackwell, and how about that maneuver, too? Fake right, go left, but the big number 15, Trying to shadow the ball. I mean, that really hurt them, I think. So just as you guys laid out, if they give you the two-pointer near the paint, you take it, and that's what Wisconsin did. Wisconsin 0-2 in overtime this season. Purdue 1-1. One one. Winner goes to the Big Ten Championship game. Edie and Winter to jump it up. Stephen Crowell fouled out right at the end of regulation. How about this? Winter wins the tap. Two of them this. Huh. Amazing. The wall's got to scream and keep busy. Is there a one-man zone in the back? Hepburn has put up 20 points to lead Wisconsin. Klesmet looking for leverage. 10 to shoot. Nice screen again by Wall. Step back. Pretty oh. look. Give it up. Wall breaks free. Boy, they two. had him on a string, the big guy. Pretty basketball. Two-man show. Just the second field goal of the day for Tyler Wall out of Lakeville, Minnesota. Right now, Winter on Edie with four fouls. Be interesting to see this matchup. Winter doing a good job. Look at this help again. Step in. Store with a steal. They have done a great job jumping passing lanes. Keep the ball moving. Winter feeds for Klesmet. It's Hepburn now against Smith playing with four fouls. One minute gone by in overtime. Thinks he can elevate here. Hepburn, kick, store, off the mark. Rebound to Smith for Purdue. Right now, Purdue needs to just calm down, run their sets. 
Wisconsin has come out here in this overtime on both ends with more aggression. And Smith really good rebound, a wide open jumper goes. And well, they're going to say a foul prior. Yeah. It looked like Wall tried to take a charge as Edie was rolling to the basket there. So the contact is going to nullify the Gillis bucket. The officials are coming together wow. and are heading to the monitor. The previous play is under review to see if the foul occurred before the shot was released. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've seen you kind of bump a roller, but not right. somebody taking a charge as someone rolls to the rim. It's almost one of those let it go plays, I thought. Mm -hmm. Gene Steratore is with us right now. Gene, bang, bang play there with the whistle off the ball, jumper made. How'd you see that playing out? Well, you, you, as you guys already mentioned, you know, you've got Edie with a, with a bump and a run over kind of there with five. And the, definitely the contact occurs prior to the shot. So that's what they're reviewing. They're going to go back. They're going to shoot the one and one now, I would assume. And not take then take the basket off the hoop. Now, now, Gene, would you call? Well, this is terrible to ask you, but what did Wall do incorrectly? <laughs> well, he really is not doing a lot incorrectly, After Ralph. He's review, got two feet. He's contact occurred on the foul way before the shot. No basket. I love to put you in the middle of these things. What you're really looking at, Raph, is is kind of a block charge play. Right. And, and, you know, when you look at Wall, if he's got it both feet down facing his opponent and gives Edie enough space to be able to make another move, it the referee move. to block charge play. He's pretty stationary there. Now, would you have, have, have let that go, maybe, if you... As an official? You know, Raph, I probably let a little too many go in my day, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, you found, you, know, nice, you found a nice home. <laughs> and that is it for Tyler Wall. <laughs> he has fouled out with four points. So Crowell, done. Wall, out. And Wisconsin has to go deeper now with Nolan Winter on the floor. Zach Eady at the free throw line. And Winter is playing with four fouls. Eady converts on the first. It's a one-point game. And I think you, you may have to double-team him on the catch to preserve Winter with those four fouls if you're Wisconsin. And getting back to that call, that's one of those, like, I, just let it go, I think. I, I agree. It's, I'm not sure I've ever seen contact. that before. Jump in the, uh, it wasn't like they were wrestling. No. He, fell. he tried to take a charge right. on Edie as he rolled to the basket. If anything, it was a charge, I thought. Two out of two for Edie. We are tied at 68. 335 to go in overtime. Carter Gilmore in the game for Wisconsin as well. 6'7, so a little bit of size there. Just keep moving the big guy around. Store lines it up. Bouncing off the rim and the rebound snagged by Gillis. A little bit of a settle. They never use the screen. Edie zoned it up. I think Gilmore's got to be active. Bump people. Smith probing. Nice help for Winter inside. Stepping into it, Jones. Hey. Off the rim, Klesmith there for the rebound. Winter. And a whistle and a foul called on Winter. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's five on Winter. And Winter I, can't believe it. I thought he did a great job checking out. Nolan Winter has now fouled out. Kind of let that go right yeah, there, right? Again, now let him play on. The physicality of this game. Mm. Wow. The delayed reaction because Winter. He thought it was going the other way, right? Yeah, he, he didn't think it was on him. Yeah. Turned his head and realized that he has now fouled out. And we talked earlier about the amount of big guys they have to give fouls. They're running out of them. So they are very small right now against the biggest man in college basketball. <laughs> you say that with envy. <laughs> Don't we all? Edie is making his free throws. Purdue up by one. Three minutes to go in overtime. He is now 9 of 14 at the line. He's worked hard on that shot, too. Over 70%. Purdue leads by two. 
That's it. Gilmore's got to keep busy. See if they can dribble off him. Get a bump. Klesmet one on one with Lawyer. Klesmet lost his footing. Gilmore rimming out. AJ Store on a follow rack attack. What else does he have in store? Big time. Goodness. Anticipation. Tied at 70. Smith playing with those four fouls for Purdue. Guarded by Hepburn. Edie way outside. Nice show by Gilmore. A little late, though. Roll. Edie. Foul. Overshow, and he couldn't recover. Uh, tough to get some weak side action. But how about this? Grant Hill-like, huh? Well, that was impressive. Edie away from the basket right there. And Storr is flying from the perimeter. you got to block ah! out in that situation there. And Big time play by a big time player. Yeah, I think it was Jones uh, didn't pay attention to detail. Zach Eady has made six of his last seven free throws. And right now he's on a heater at the line. 71 70 Purdue. 2.16 to go in OT. Eady was not 100% coming into this game, had rolled his ankle. It was right down the stretch of the season and then rolled it again in the victory over Michigan State yesterday. Purdue up by two. Klesmet, short rebound. Went through the hands of two Purdue players, Jones and Edie. Blackwell, well, not a good, uh, and it's a foul on Gillis. Not a good foul. And Blackwell's one of those guys that they could, he could really put it on the deck and get to the rim. And, and I like that from Wisconsin. They've settled for some three-pointers here the last few possessions. Attacking, putting pressure on this defense of Purdue has served them well, and it did on that play. It's going to send the freshman John Blackwell to the free throw line. He shoots it at 83%. Wisconsin only five of eight at the line today, and that one is short. Purdue up by two, under two minutes to go in overtime. They handle the pressure. Gillis waits for Smith to come to the ball, defended by Blackwell. And two good defenders on the perimeter with Chucky and Blackwell. High screen, Edie. Smith uses it. Smith drives in. Hey. Couldn't finish it. Look at this. Edie is out of bounds. And turnover. Edie falls on the baseline, and when you fall like Zach Edie, it's not just on the baseline, it's in the end zone entirely. <laughs> and also call the carpenter. Look, five guys what trying effort. to block him out. He wants that basketball. You're right. He uh, great. covers a lot of floor there. <laughs> he falls. Timber. 72 to 70. Boilermakers. Store. Step back for the tie. Big off this kid. Not much separation either. Loses with confidence. Once again, Edie just zoning up down there. 20 points for A.J. Store. 72 72 a minute 10 to go in OT Cross screen then a pin down for lawyer and a dump down if they can They need to direct the traffic Smith flicks it. Oh The closeout unfortunately it is store uh, picking up the foul Trying to react quickly that's the second foul on A.J. Store, And they've had so much success there, getting into the paint, creating some separation. Store, we've seen we've seen Hepburn do it today, Klesman as well. I like when they attack off-the-bounds dribble handoff situations where they're aggressive. Lance Jones to the free throw line for the first time today. In and out. 75% shooter. Native of Evanston, Illinois. Trying to put Purdue in front. 58.7 to go. Splits a pair. 73, 72 Boilermakers. And for Wisconsin, it, it's you don't need a lot of imagination now. You're gonna get that drop coverage, get a shot around that foul area. Oh, contact, no call. Store. Winning, no. Edie's got the board. He does that every once in a while. You admire him stepping up, but I, I like you had said. Well, you admire the courage there, yeah. but you want to attack. Don't settle in that situation. 
And a foul given. Carter Gilmore is called for it. Kill and Gilmore is, took a mean hit there as Jones was getting through that screen. Physicality is something else. Zach Eady individually is 12 of 17. Wisconsin as a team, 5 of 9 at the line. And Eady keeps on making them. Yeah, he's in a nice groove now from the free throw line. The first half, what, well, Eady didn't get many minutes at all with those two fouls called. Yeah, and part of what Purdue has done this year, we mentioned their scoring average, that they're among the best scoring teams in the country. It's not because they're necessarily explosive. They do a lot of their work at the line. They're efficient. <laughs> Very much so. Put a lot of pressure on the refs. 75, 72. Edie has made 10 of his last 11 free throws. Pretty. Hepburn gets to the bucket. I don't know where Edie for the first time stayed out top. 75, 74, 38.6 to go in OT and a timeout called by Purdue. Highly competitive first semifinal in the Big Ten with Illinois and Nebraska coming up here on CBS. This could be just straight up D, I think. Nothing creative. Stay at home, be solid. I agree. I mean, a little token pressure, you can extend up the floor, but you just need to get one stop right here. You have enough time on the clock. Eight second differential there, so. Of course, you know he's gonna be a guy that's going to touch it eventually. Zach Eady came in averaging 24.3 points, 11.8 rebounds, 2.2 blocks. And the numbers for Eady, 28 points, 11 boards, 3 blocks today on an afternoon where he became Purdue's all-time career scoring leader, passing the great Rick Mount. Incredible career, Bird. Just amazing what he's been able to do. He's destroyed more lesson plans, huh, than a bad teacher. <laughs> He joined Big Dog Robinson and Rick Mount as National Player of the Year's out of Purdue. They get it in. Head fake from Smith. There's an eight and a half second difference. Shot clock to game clock. Smith handles the pressure from Hepburn. Chucky really ragged Jeez. here. They don't want to foul now. 17 left. One point lead. Oh. And there's the fend off. They got it. Fencer. He sold it. And Smith is done. That's his fifth foul. And that right there was Chucky Hepburn just wearing him out. Wearing him out, <laughs> frustrating him, the physicality, and Smith just out of frustration extends that left arm. He didn't need to in that situation. The screen yeah. was coming from Zach Eady. I just think from the backcourt to there, he wore him, just wore him out. Braden Smith, seven points, 10 assists. And his afternoon is over. 21.3 to play. Give Hepburn credit. Really has frustrated Smith all game. Got him in foul trouble. Chucky's been super, I think. He has. Been. Both ends of the floor. Hepburn sent this game into overtime with a driving layup at the end of regulation. He's got 22 points on 9 of 12 from the field. Wisconsin is down by one. 16 seconds to go in overtime. Don't settle attack. Klesmith forced to give it up. Float it for Hepburn. 10 seconds left. Klesmith makes his move. The drive. The floater. Gets the roll. Wisconsin up by one. Four seconds. Three seconds. Jones fires. No good. Wisconsin wins. This is what March feels like. The Badgers are going to the Big Ten title game as they upset Purdue, the number one seed in the conference. with the clutch deuce. Who said you can't challenge the big guy? Uh, they were settling with some jumpers, maybe uncalled for, but right there, Maxi Taxi gets in the lane. Big time floater with some touch and feeling. 
And Raft, he was chirping a little earlier in the game. He'll be chirping now. What a fantastic finish in traffic. Getting it done, stepping up. This is a team that has not been in the top 25 since February 12th. And they are clicking at the right time of year. Yeah, they're playing like a team like they were before February 12th. And you think about Bo Ryan. What he was able home. to accomplish, what, right? Yeah, now Greg Gard doing the same. But what a finish there inside. Wow. Just the understanding, the soft delivery, get into his spot. Connor, his buddy are there, is Ejin on the baseline. And all the handshakes, they come in handy. Over to Tracy. Well, first off, Coach, I mean, what a tremendous game. Typical Big Ten game. But let's talk about the shot by Klesman, who we lost, by the way, going into the locker room. He was so excited. All right, well, maybe we'll grab him. But what about that shot? And what was the play going I'll tell you in? what, uh, these guys down the stretch executed to perfection. His play at the end of regulation to get to the rim off a side out of bounds. Max, Max coming off a little hammer action. Just players make plays, and these guys have been phenomenal. I wanted to talk to you about that, not only the play to send it to overtime, but that defensive play down there to force the turnover by Braden Smith. For you, not 100% coming in. What was the mindset coming down the stretch here? Absolutely. Uh, Braden Smith is a good point.